gosh, we got it morning, guys. Welcome to today's oh, video. <laughs> Gabby almost died. I slid, I slid yeah. Too. So this is where the whole crime scene started. We were walking on a really nice snow, and suddenly, woo, woo, help! <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Gabby's right. We almost died. But anyway, there's ice under the snow if you're not careful. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video. Uh, Sophie's on her way. It is zero degrees in the barn. Oh, be nice to my girl. She just flops it in there. She just opens the door, throws it in. But in the order of slowest to fastest. In the order of slowest to fastest. That is the best order to go in. And Gracie still finishes first. Because she adds the same amount of willow, but eats the best. Yeah. That's why she chews buckets. And yeah, Gracie is the best. She has holes in her buckets. She has holes in her buckets. Because she finishes so fast and then she chews, it. chews the bucket. Yesterday, Sam was down here with the girls, and I asked him to tell the girls to clean up the arena. Hmm. Dad did it. Dad did it? Yeah. Oh, so they... Oh, so then they pooped that much again? All right. We're going to do that again. Do you want to do the arena or the stalls? Oh, my God. Ollie. Do you want to do the arena or the stalls? Oh, my goodness. Ollie. Hello. Oh, you just, uh, just love him, you guys. <laughs> he waits here for us. He's so excited. Yeah, he only runs when the dogs come. Yeah, because they're fast, huh? Yeah. Do you want to do the arena or do you want to do my stall? Sophia's doing your stall. I did it alone yesterday. So anyway, Gabby says that he's fine to be picked up. Look at how huge he looks though. He like is he's fat. I know, but he's big. Like he's so fat. Yeah. That's all fat. That's not all I hair. know. It's all fat. I know. But he's warm. And Thumper's the same. It's I think a lot of hair. <laughs> no, feel his stomach. You've been eating a lot of animals. Feel his stomach before yeah. he scratches me. His stomach. I know. It's fit. It's, it's fat. fat. <laughs> he doesn't have anybody to share the food with. Look at how short his tail is. Is that normal? Oh my. Look at he has it's a weird fluffy. tail. It's not fluffy because all the static But look at his tail. He has a round tail. Is that weird? He's like, goodbye. <laughs> don't call me weird. I don't know if you guys can see. There's this, my second heart of the day. Since you were late getting here, we have already divvied up chores. I'm doing the arena and you're doing my stall. Yeah. Gabby did it yesterday. Gabby did it yesterday. How about I clean the arena? All right, I want the arena clean nice then. Okay. We both know that. It's not gonna happen. Right. Family life, you guys. This is it. This is real family life. Apparently, the reason it looks like it did yesterday is because Sophie said that a lot of it was frozen. So I told her she has to get the chipper and chip the frozen poo. All right, here come horses. Today's my turn to let them out, you guys. Step one. Close the door. Even though I do all the steps, I still make so many mistakes when I let them out. All right, so it's Gracie first and then Willow, right? Right? You guys probably know. <laughs> all right, here we go. Get out there. Gracie first. Oh. And then Willow, because Willow will chase Gracie out, or Gabby will. And then Penny Pickle. First, we have to do our regular daily brush <laughs> because you can't go outside looking like you've never been clean. You better hurry. Yeah. All right. You ready? Ready to go? What are you eating? Okay. Hold on. Whoa. 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 Okay. <laughs> See, she's such a good girl. I get run over 101. You know, I do that. Whoa, that was not good. What happened, Gracie? Oh, she says no. Sam, I only put two flakes inside. Right. Oh, so see? Well, one flake. Gabby put a little bit of hay inside and then all the rest outside, and then the horses were like, yeah, I'll eat inside. Bully. Because Gracie gets bullied. 
Don't worry, Gracie, we got your back, sister. We'll always make sure that there's hay for you. Uh-oh, now, oh, hey! Holy moly, it's a frisky morning. See how good they are on the ice, though? Like, they know, horses know. Uh-oh, it's still going down. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. But anyway, before we get further in this vlog, I wanted to tell you guys something because I keep forgetting. Um, but you guys know how I've been telling you all along for so long, like over a year at least, that I've been seeing hearts. I see hearts every single day. And in the past, I felt like I've seen hearts more on time at times, just before times when I'm going to get like upset over something. And, and just like God's trying to remind me all the time to be kind and to love instead of get upset. And so... I so that has not changed I still see hearts every single day and I see them faster and more of them when I something's gonna happen to make me upset and so sometimes when I see hearts I'm like oh man what's gonna happen now but I wanted to tell you guys that that never happened to me before I started seeing hearts like I there has never been just one thing I've seen a lot of until recently I just started last week seeing rainbows everywhere. Like everywhere I see rainbows and like it's the same as the heart situation. I see the rainbows. So I looked it up to see what the heck does a rainbow mean and it's a sign of... Rainbow means sun hitting glass. Gabby says that rainbow means sun hitting the glass. But, but spiritually it means it's like a sign of hope or a sign of like new beginnings and that seems really positive and amazing to me. But I also feel nervous because just before I started seeing the rainbows, I heard somebody talking about how they started seeing rainbows after someone that was close to them passed away. Grace, yeah, it's the, what's got, so whatever Sophie's doing is what's scaring them. Because this little girl just keeps running and running. Don't run and run. So anyway, I wanted to put that out there that I started seeing rainbows. A lot of rainbows and I don't know exactly what it means yet but I want to ask you guys is there something that comes up in your life all the time like everywhere you go you see it and it's a reoccurring theme like if you do what is it comment it below and what oh, you think I it means it at like 5 PM now. you see when what what do you sun hits the glass window creating a rainbow you see rainbows too no. whoa Holy like once. When was when that? The sun hit a glass window. When was that? Last month. Two months ago, maybe. Yeah, this is weird, you guys. It is not weird. It is sun hitting a glass window. Other than the window's weird, so it makes the freaking stuff. Never turn the water on and walk away. Never do it because, never do it because you'll forget. Like, I literally said, Laura. You won't forget, you're just going to put water in Penny's stall. Poof, I came back. Just as a fluke, I heard it. I forgot. Come here, Gabby and I are having an argument. We need you guys to help us. Come back in here. All right, so my battery's dying, so we gotta make this quick. So here's the scenario. If someone is mean to you online, like you see somebody who's being mean to you online, they're just saying trashy things, they get karma. Just wait, get back here. So listen. So karma. you, they maybe don't think you're going to see it, but you see it. You see them talking badly you about you. It, you oh, just look at my comments. Do it again. Yeah, okay, okay. So you guys, I do not have to use Star Stable Horses. I, <laughs> I know, that's so crazy. Okay, but this is not my question. Listen. So my question is, you see all this, and the girl's just being mean and saying awful things about you. And then... You Whenever meet them. And try to talk to you and act all buddy buddy with you. You confront them about it and video the whole thing so that they can't accuse you of like something that you did during the conversation. Have you ever had a conversation like that with somebody? No, because they haven't come up to me. <laughs> okay, so my question is this. In that exact scenario, the person comes up to you later in person and is like, Oh, hi, how are you? I love you guys so much. I look at them like what are you talking about? Girl, we both know that. Yeah, yeah, it's suck when fans come up to us. Yeah. You, Same with you, Haley and me. Yeah. They're all anxiety, shy. Guys. They're I'm all shy. shy. No. Hi. It's from so, anxiety. Yeah. So. Yeah, we just stand there staring at each other. Yeah, okay. So listen. I'm like, I should get to the gate because I have to go in soon. Okay. Yeah, we take photos with those. Oh, well, what part of I hardly have any battery power do you guys not understand? So listen, go back to this. 
My question is this. See the battery flashing? My question is this. How do you know that if that person got to know you and you spent time with them, that they wouldn't change their opinion? Why does Gabby have people never change and they are untrustworthy. So Gabby says that... Don't trust trust your first instincts. If somebody is not meant for you I mean, and thinks and says bad things and that's not your style, then that's not your style and you shouldn't go there. That's but what, what do I you do think, Sophie? Right every single do you give time. them a chance or do you just cut them off at the pass? I just walk away because I don't know them. <laughs> Stranger danger. I always forgive and forget and give people chances even when they've betrayed me in the past and i want to say that from my experience of this many years doing that it often works out sometimes doesn't sometimes does sometimes those relationships are the most challenging and they teach me the most and i'm so grateful that i pursued it even if it doesn't end well gabby is more one to say like you already had your chance see you later i'm not even no, going to give you a chance because i literally have to look at photos of them and i can guess what they are like what they'll be like and i turn out right so what does that All mean of kaylee's exes i guessed what they were going to do to her and i was correct Okay. Like he's gonna cheat on you. He cheats. Okay, on you. different topic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Enough, enough. Let's All cut right, this off. Okay, we're done, done. done. Uh the girls have gone up to the house, but I just wanted to say quickly that for the record, both Gabby's way and Sophie's way and my way are all okay ways to handle situations like that. If you're the kind of person that chooses to walk away from somebody that you think is toxic right from the beginning, then that is okay. If you're the kind of person that thinks that forgiving and forgetting and just taking from that person the good things and leaving the rest is okay, then that's okay too. And if you're just shy and you run away, that's okay too, you guys. It's okay to be you. That's my whole point. It's okay to navigate this world your way despite any other interference and people saying, no, your way is wrong. Your way is your way and it's always right for you. And that's all that matters. It is gorgeous out, guys. Look, it is melting. I can handle water over ice. Just when you think mud and water are the worst things on earth, God sends ice and you realize that you were dumb. The ice inside is melting. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Oh, I thought all the ice is gone because it looks just normal now. It feels so good to be here. So we came because oh even though lessons are canceled still. There's another skin. I mean hair missing. You got hair missing? At least he runs away. He's so smart. No, you're not having a lesson today. It sucks. Lessons are canceled because the barn is under ice. And it's just not safe for... He dragged it? It's not safe for like a lot of people to be in here because... We can't Look put our horses in the stalls. Guess the animal print. <laughs> it is all over. I can wear one glove. So Gabby had a glove malfunction. She dropped one glove in the water. And what water? What water? The water in the tap room. And are they oh. waterproof, Gabby? No. They are I not only waterproof. dropped one, so this one. So she's gonna be riding the one-handed ride. I hate gloves. I know, me too. Well, actually, I don't mind them. It's always too big. Yeah. That's why I jump if you don't have to wear gloves, I don't think. Maybe you do. I don't think you have to. Oh, yeah, you have to wear gloves in Hunters. All right. All right, this is it. This is our beautiful boy ready to ride. There's even an area to sit now. If I can step across. Think I can do it? Oh, it's not even slippery. Oh, hi, Thumper. Chino is actually super fresh today, and he has been super fresh. He's not fresh? All right, all right, let's see who's the winner of that. Gabby sent me to get her riding boots, which we have lots of riding boots. So I said, where are they? And she said, they're in this room. And I said, you mean Brandon's? And she said, no, Brandon's and mine. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that we didn't pay for them. I'm pretty sure they're just Brandon's. Now, which ones are, I think I'll get them all. He's looking at his girl. Yeah, you see her? Uh-oh, I'm in the, stuck in the middle. Number two, you guys. We are on horsey number two. Drop off. All right, we got the treats. Uh -oh. Thank you. So another thing that we do with our horses. Can you show them how to do what you do with his legs? We do 
a couple of exercises with his legs. <laughs> he chased him around the paddock. <laughs> Don't bite her bum. <laughs> so we stretch them forward and we count to five or ten. One, two, three, four, five. And then we also, we also <laughs> chase our ponies around. Here, yeah. Let her do it, Tinny. <laughs> Typically, we use halters. <laughs> so also, we do this one where we pull it out to the side if they let us. It's like, don't do it. You guys can't see, but she's got her his leg out to the side, and she holds it for ten, and then she also does it to the front. Okay, you got to do that again, though. So he's like, I will I'll take the treats, but I will not let you. Here, you want me to hold him? Yeah, he is so handsome. Yeah, so handsome. the craziest experiment experiment I just did the craziest experiment ever so like Grayfin doesn't have a connection with us like he moved here in September no he worries. moved two fields <laughs> he moved two fields he has like nobody he has no horse friends right now he's got no people that he connects to and whenever I like interact with him and look in his eyes he always looks like he always avoids me, like he doesn't look at me. He never sees me. And a long time ago when Gabby got her first horse, when she got Storm actually, I remember telling you guys that it took her being nice to him and doing things only for him, for him to see her. And so I did it, he's looking at me like crazy now and now he looked away, no, but please. Gabby says I can't do it anymore. So I stood in front of him and he looked away and 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 then I kept on giving him treats. I kept talking to him and wrote, now you he see me. He his head into my helmet. You see oh, me, you. yeah. Do you guys see it? Hi. My shirt won't stay tucked in. Hi. My pants. Oh, I found my gray shirt. Oh good, where was it? It was in my closet, like oh. I said. Okay, get going. So anyways, I kept giving him treats and giving him treats and then all of a sudden, he started looking me in the eye. He started looking me in the eye, like he physically started to see me for the first time. All right, Sophie, can you get through there? All right, so we are on horse number two. What? Oh, I thought somebody said, I gotta get Sophie. Don't you know that you're beautiful?